All right, guys, welcome back to EP Outdoors. I know I've been gone for some time, and I know it's been pretty much a year since I posted my last video, but I told you guys that I'd be back lifting this bad boy. So um, we're actually gonna be doing that this week. Tomorrow, we are gonna be putting a lift on this Toyota Tacoma 2022 TRD Sport 4x4. Um, she is getting lifted, and I really just wanted to get one more video for you guys so you can see what a stock Tacoma looks like um, and just kind of tell you guys how it's been driving and how it's been treating me the last 22,000 miles it's been great I haven't had any problems with the drivability on this truck or anything like that you can see on this side the sun's kind of in the way but you can kind of see on this side I do have the spare on because I did get a nail in one of the tires but that's totally fine because tomorrow she's getting lifted and it's going to have complete new tires. Um, so just going to do a quick walk around for you guys so you can see what it looks like stock. Some people asked me if it was leveled, but it's not. This is straight from the factory. Toyota just kind of, you know, naturally gives it a nice little lift in the front and especially in the rear i will say these tires we're rocking the um what are these these are the firestone destinations we're looking at the 285 or sorry 265 65 on a 17 inch wheel so 265 65 on a 17 inch wheel so drivability Honestly, for the last 22,000 miles, this thing has drove like a dream. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, I would say it drives just like a stock vehicle. It's just pretty dialed in straight from the factory. The front suspension is pretty soft. Rear suspension, a little bit more stiff, typical. And um, handling's been pretty good. It does, you know, have some play here and there, but for the most part, there is a little bit of body roll on this truck. Um, so hopefully with the new components, it eliminates that and honestly enhances the drivability of it. But just kind of wanted to get a quick video out for you guys, just to let you know I'm back. The Tacoma is gonna get lifted tomorrow. And uh, the next clip, I am gonna go ahead and kind of just go over the components I'm gonna be putting on this truck with you guys and just kind of show you what they look like. And um, then the next video, I'm actually gonna show you the finished product with the lift installed and then um hopefully some uh some of my thoughts on how it drives compared to stock so yeah guys i cannot wait for this uh the lift is going on tomorrow so i wanted to make one more video for you guys get one more walk around because it's never going to be stock again and i know i'm going to miss it but i'm going to love i'm going to love how the uh the lift and tires are going to be once it's installed um but yeah guys any questions of course leave them down in the comments um if anything you guys want to know how it drives or anything like that like i said for the most part it drives like a stock car stock truck a little bit softer in the front stiffer in the back and definitely some body roll but other than that she's good to go um so the next clip i'm gonna go ahead and go over the actual components that i'm putting in this truck so stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and go inside and see what kind of lift I am gonna be putting on this Tacoma. All right, guys, just wanted to add this in the video as well. So miles per gallon on the stock truck, I'm getting right now 18.3, but of course that is also in this cold, it's 54 degrees, and also with the spare tire that I have on right now. So typically I'm getting at least closer to 19 miles to the gallon on a good day or on a basic day with my uh, original tire. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys that. And then let me turn off the truck. So on this trip, I did 11.3 miles and average fuel economy, 22.6. So that's a little bit better. Um, that's a little bit better, obviously a lot better. So kind of lets you guys know a little hint or kind of gives you guys an idea of what this truck is capable of averaging, uh, on basic trips. So 11.3 miles, that's not bad. Um, with 22.6 miles to the gallon. So I do expect that to go down with the lift, but of course I will definitely keep you guys updated on how that happens as well. Um, but yeah, guys, just kind of wanted to give you guys a little MPG check before I go over the parts. 
uh, that I am about to go over now with you. All right, All right guys, so this video is gonna be in parts because I'm loading everything up right now tonight. So here's the original tire and wheel. We're gonna be rocking these two 65, 65, 17s. Um, and then here is the new tire. It's hard to see, but these are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3s. We're gonna be working with a, where is it? It's a 285, 285 right here. Hard to see. We have a 285 70 on an R17. Pretty big tire. Love the aggressive tread. It's hard to see at night. I got the flash on, but these are gonna look amazing on these wheels. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be the tires. I'm gonna load them up right now, and then I'm gonna grab everything else and show you what else I got. All right, guys. So here's all the boxes. Right here we have the Icon one and a half inch add a leaf. It's a leaf spring in the back. It's gonna add an inch and a half. I'm gonna go with the rear. We're gonna have Bilstein 5100s. In here, we have the Eibach Stage 2 Pro front coilovers. So these look like real quick. Oh yeah. And these are adjustable as well, but I'm gonna have them level it out with the rear. Super, super excited for these, to have these installed. Um, I believe in this box. Yeah. So these are going to be Freedom Off Road upper control arms. Um, super excited for how those are going to ride. And then right here, since I'm running stocks, I have the one and a quarter inch wheel spacers by KSP. So this is going to be the setup with those 33 inch tires. Super excited to see how it turns out. Um, about to load all this up into the truck for tomorrow and then kind of get things going. I'm dropping it off tomorrow morning at eight in the morning, 8.30, and hopefully get it back after work. So have all the tires loaded up. That's the, uh, the wheel and tire that got a nail in it, but I think it's good. Have the 33 inch 285 uh, 70 R17s Falcon Wall Peak AT3s. So just gonna load everything up and we're gonna be good guys. So, ah, yeah. Um, thank you again, guys. If you guys have been watching for the channel and are still watching this long, seriously, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. Um, uh, you guys probably know that this has been a huge project, but I got the truck brand new with like nine miles on it. So I kind of wanted to ride it, drive it for about at least two years it's gonna be two years this december that i've owned this truck so kind of really just kind of wanted to have this truck really drive it stock enjoy it get the life out of the suspension tires and everything and just get a feel for it because nothing's better than a brand new stock truck but it's time i couldn't wait any longer i couldn't wait my buddy he lifted his fourth gen forerunner or fifth gen forerunner he's been doing lifts for the last like five years so it's just something we love to do and it's my turn to do it on this beautiful Tacoma and I just can't wait tomorrow morning dropping it off afternoon getting it back and of course I am gonna have another video out for you guys the next day or sometime this weekend or sometime next week I will post another video so that I can explain what I put on the truck even though I just showed you but just kind of explain what it looks like what the differences are and just kind of how it rides and how it drives different um spoiler ah, spoiler alert i'm keeping the wheels i love the way these wheels look i just love them so that's why i'm gonna have to put the wheel spacer so that they can fit in the front and in the back with the uh upper control arms or well mainly with the um coilovers front coilovers but super excited for this um yeah so that's the uh that's gonna be the build i don't know what it's gonna look like i don't really know any tacoma right now that has this kind of setup Eibach in the front, Bilstein's in the back, Icon, um, Adelief in the back, and then Freedom Off Road. I don't know, I haven't seen any on the Tacoma forms or anything like that, so I'm really excited to, just to see kind of how it turns out to be, um, especially with these stock wheels and then sticking out a little bit with those 33s. I mean, you can just see the difference in size there, so really excited for that, guys. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna just show the full build everything about it how it's driving and just give you my thoughts on it so thanks again guys ep outdoor 
back at it again. Hopefully I'll be more consistent this time and bring back some more good content for you guys. But I know some of you guys out there are looking to lift your trucks. So hopefully this kind of helps you out. And yeah. Um, and then on the next video, I'll go ahead and do a price breakdown for you guys. I'll let you know exactly how much I spent and how much everything was. I'll put it up on screen the next video when I have everything installed. So thank you so much guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.